Okay, so I just um, got my Taipei Tokyo, and oh my god, it's so good. So good. It's fucking amazing. I've only ate um, one crab a la carte raw so far. Oh my god, it's so good. But anyway, so I need to eat, sleep, all of those things. Deal with blocking people, whatever the case may be. Um, obviously, I appreci appreciate the love and support from anyone. I mean, I'm getting messages, people saying that they're actually in crying, tears, just walking around fumbling this is a like scary situation they feel i'm walking around fumbling thinking this is a scary situation crying tears as well um but i have to keep going i have to keep going they killed me once again and my kids yesterday again they killed us again they killed us again um but I have to keep going. It would be easy to lay down and die and not fight for my kids. It wouldn't be easy. Either way is equally as bad, but it's way better to at least keep trying and keep fighting. So I'm realizing a couple of things. Well, my break is almost over. I've been to court all this time. I have not had a vacation at all through any of this. What is my vacation? Um, I was literally booted out the door, kicked in the ass, and then, you know, have all these court dates and all this court stuff to deal with, where, I mean, I can't be starting a job, I can't be working and dealing with all of these things, but I have to, I, ha it has, I have to go back to work, so that I can continue paying my bills and keeping this lifestyle up of just living in a normal place out here fighting for my kids having a car to drive while i'm going through all of this um so i on my way back from taipei tokyo a song came on called hit me with your best shot and that reminds me of my attorney emily just for fun for fun it's our song for fun hit me with your best shot come on so i i was like oh well this is, this is coming on and I do have wiretap cord on Friday, so I'm gonna do a little video. But I was just thinking, I'm not real, I wasn't really feeling like dancing. I wasn't feeling dancing, but honestly, um, like so many people were telling me, never quit dancing, Jen, never quit dancing, Jen. And I realized that I can't quit dancing because it's what keeps me alive. It, it's what keeps me going and what I love. I love dancing. I love it. And I would be totally fucked without dancing. So anyways, maybe I'll upload that video. I do have um, some haters like, why are you messaging me? You took it upon yourself to research my entire life, get involved in our business and become friends with him. That is um, your problem, not mine. So if you have a problem and you're gonna report, I mean, so basically I got, I'm getting blown up with messages, instant messages, text messages, phone calls from block numbers, all of these things. Well, don't get involved. Don't get involved. Now, honestly, like I said, people care and wanna get involved if you care, that's fine. The online world I realize is just like real life, full of supporters, haters, and stalkers, just like my real life. So, which is, this is my real life. I'm obviously showing you my real life, which, yeah. But anyways, so then the last message I saw, leave me alone or something, and then I click on it, and there's like all these long messages I haven't read because I don't have time to deal with this shit. So, no, leave me alone. I'm not researching your whole life. I honestly don't know anything about it now other than just what you told me lately, and that's fine. Obviously, it was you were not in my best interest to restrict me on Facebook, friend him, and all of that. That's not a friend, okay? So how about you leave me alone? 
instead of blowing me up because you're watching every video as it uploads. I mean, I just, I'm just so sick of people. I obviously do not care. Like, if you're an enemy, that's fine. Chop, chop, go away. Chop, chop. You know, um, but I do appreciate my friends. I appreciate my friends, whether you know what to do or not. People don't know what to do. People who you would think could help don't know what to do because they've never heard of anything like this happening so corrupt and so severe. So I'm just going through the punches. I was calling my one friend last night when I was crying. I was calling him over and over. And then he texts me like later, like, what's up? I'm at work. I'm like, it's okay. I was just having a, you know, a breakdown. He's like, well, <laughs> he's like, you know, I can't help. And he said it LOL. And I was like, I know LOL, but you know, we know, I know people can't help and that's okay. People, not everyone can help. That's okay. But don't hurt. If you can't help, don't hurt. That's all I'm asking. If you hurt, then just, I'm not going to entertain you anymore. If you're just cool, my friend, great. Thank you. Appreciate it.